Hey, conspiracy cougar. Hoping I'd go away. Guess again, boy. Guess again. You see, I don't have my P900 right now. But I do have my camera and I do have video of snow falling perpendicular to the ground. I'm supposed to be spinning. You're telling me gravity has an attachment to every molecule in the air that brings the snow straight to the ground? Get a fucking clue, dude. Yeah, you see my hair? I just woke up from a dream. My dream was this. <laughs> yeah, this is a joke, dude. And you got absolutely nothing except for formulas and effects and theories that support this. You take reality and you observe it. And that is what reality is. It's not formulas and figures that you can't comprehend. I have this conversation with everybody. Ballers and ballers alike. You cannot justify this thing right here with anything but formulas. Mathematical nonsense that you can't understand yourself numbers so large that it fries your brain how many zeros are on the back of 433 light years if you put that in mile per hour boy you are a loss you're drifting in an imaginary state if you were to compile all the evidences that support this or are supposed to support this what they tell you with your own observation this is supposed to be spinning at 1040 miles an hour at the equator that means at the 45th it's half of that if you come up to the 45th latitude, you're halfway to zero. You're halfway. That's 750 feet per second. That they want you to believe that this or the spinning. Yet you have Aries failure, the Michelson Morley. The Michelson Gale and others who at the turn of the 18th century when they were trying to justify this actually proved that Earth was a motionless entity upon itself. you want to wholeheartedly accept this gravity that is in the core here that creates this the mass of the earth creates the gravity so the mass of the moon creates the gravity because the moon can grab the tides of this spinning ball and draw the tides to the coastlands of the spinning ball while all this centripetal force is going on. This thing spinning has enough centripetal force to shrink because it's spinning it shrinks down into a spheroid. Let's get this straight. It's spinning like this. It ain't even spinning vertical. 
is spinning 23.4 degrees out of vertical. We're 23.4 degrees off a 90 degree vertical is a 666. I didn't make these numbers up, they did. What don't you get? The only thing that ain't reflecting a 666 in their world is the rotation. Because if you look, all the average of the orbit of the sun counterclockwise is 666,600 miles an hour. The orbit the sun takes if you average them all out around the Milky Way, going the only motion also that goes clockwise is 666,000 miles an hour. And that's their numbers. They're not my numbers. They're just if you average all of the numbers that they spew to you out, that's what you get. I don't know what's up with 666, and I don't care. It's just a number to me, but it's relevant to them, and it's relevant to you bald believers because that's what they tell you. Everything is a 666. So I go outside, and it's snowing out there. And all the snow is falling straight down. It's falling straight down, folks. And this thing is spinning like this right out here, they claim, at 750 feet per second. But yet the snow is falling straight down. So they want your mind to really think that the gravity, their God gravity, has a grasp on everything. Every freaking molecule out there is attached to the earth by a single wave of gravity. Gravity, each wave of gravity has its own mind so that it can pull however it wants. As you have planes up here the gra above the earth, gravity has to pull on them different that they do that the gravity has to pull on the earth itself you don't get it I used to think I was crazy but that thought is long gone as I further my advancement and knowledge towards what they want you to believe I'm 55 years old I didn't grow up and just one day decide that I was going to reject this spinning ball nonsense and become a flat earther. I researched it wholly. I gathered the information. I gathered the data. I had done experiments. I've compiled all this information together into one pile. and. I've discerned over it with an open mind, non-prejudiced, non-biased, non-opinionated, using critical thought on what I observe. I know for a fact that there's a centripetal force out there that they want you to deny. I know there's a theory of gravity that they want you to accept. I know they want you to believe Polaris is 433 light years away. Some number your mind can comprehend. What is up?
with all of the rhetoric? Why can't it just be straightforward? You think I don't understand reality? Because I explain it in simplicity and observable reality? And you think I'm crazy, conspiracy cougar? You have a chore, boy. You have a chore to prove that you can create a mud ball that will compress at its poles regardless. If you can get it to do it at all, you have to create a mud ball that you can spin and it will stay together. It will not disintegrate. And all the water will stay on it. This ain't my theory, boy. This is what you're pushing. This is your junk. You're the one that has to prove it. It's not on me. I will not debate you. Show your fucking muddy ball spinning around, holding together that the fucking water is not spinning off it. It's on you. It's not, not on us. Those who observe reality for what it is comprehend that we've been bullshitted from day one. It wasn't necessary for them to put the mobile of the earth above our head in our crib. It was an indoctrination they had to start young. Get that in your head young before you have critical thought. Because once your critical thought is in your head, it don't go away. You continue to think critically. You analyze the reality of everything. That's what the flat earth has done to millions and millions of people. It ain't just me. I'm just one. I'm in a motel room right here working because I have to pay for the power that I already created. Y'all fucking watch my videos and you know where I'm coming from with that. I created a government that gives me rights. Something I created tells me what I can do and what I can't do. Really? That ain't right. And you bunch of fucking morons out there supporting this government that shut down for a month and a half and you didn't even know it shut down. You're the fuckers that have me in the point that I'm at right now. I spend over $500 of my power money to this government every week. It's not a lot, but I'll tell you what, that's my expenditures. I can live on that for a month. I have myself set up to where if I'm not away working, which I am right now, I can live on $500 a month. Yet that's what I give this government, this illegitimate government, every week for my moral existence thanks to you and your spinning ball horseshit. There ain't a one of you that have proved a spinning ball. There's absolutely zero measurable curvature out there anywhere. Don't matter where this ball is in relation to that camera, you see curvature. The scale does not matter at that point. Reality strikes. There is curvature. And you can measure that. If I brought a square off here and down here, I could measure how far that is out of plumb and square. I'm an artist and I'm a construction worker. I understand, I comprehend 
reality very well thank you you want to come at me like I'm an idiot with all your rhetoric I don't care to see it I really don't show your proof show your factual tangible proof I'm showing you flat out straight up no matter what that curvature I could get a ball that's there's a curve on this mouse you can see it there's a curve on this bottle you can see it there's a curve on this bottle you can see it if there was a curvature on earth you would see it conspiracy cougar why did you bring me out of hibernation boy should have left me alone because until you can make you a mud ball I'm gonna tell you what you just pack you a mud ball and you put it on a some kind of a lathe or some kind of a drill system to where you can spin it and create the same centripetal force for the angular momentum of the earth's supposed radius equator you create that boy without the water spitting out of it I like to see ya I like to see any of you ball sucking ball professors do this I really would as all you have to do is observe reality and understand the comprehension more than understand because I don't understand I comprehend I got ten fingers I got ten toes you know the Joes by the fingers and their toes this saying in my trade and I got it all I think about everything I never did in the past I just accepted that's what many of you still do is you just accept and I accept that because you just accept but that doesn't mean that I'm crazy because I understand that the earth is flat you ask me where the edge is I ask you where the edge of the solar system is if you don't know what the solar system is you haven't watched enough of my videos people the all-out truth is the only way you're gonna find reality is to search for it yourself no one's gonna hand it to you it's not just out there your observation your senses your common sense your reason your analytical thought will bring you to the reality that exists around you so long as you keep your opinion and I'm telling you what when I first heard about the flat earth my opinion was totally to this thing right here it really was I was on a mission to extinguish the flat earth fucking ignorance and as all it did was brought me to the reality that what they've been instructing us to believe the entire time of our mortal existence within this realm is total horseshit I don't want you to believe me I could care less what you do in fact just don't trespass upon my freedoms and liberties see this government right here it's a big con every government's a con 
they convince you you have rights that's not even the case you don't have rights you have liberty and freedom the great creator of this realm impose that upon you your freedom and your liberty you ain't on a spinning ball that's horseshit get away from it the great creator of this realm give you the liberty to live out your mortal existence and experience your life within this realm and he give it to you freely the only thing you do is you live free you do whatever you want whatever your will it's up to you just keep your evil and your wickedness to yourself and don't trespass upon the liberties and the freedoms of other mortals living out their mortal experience within this realm they want you back that's why they have you on this spinning ball so that you think that you're there that you don't really know where you are because you think you're on a spinning ball so if you think you're on a spinning ball, do you think you know where you are? If you're really on a flat motionless plane? It's a to steal your soul liar system, boys and girls. It's to keep you out of your free thought. You all laugh at me because I talk a little bit slower well that's because everything I do is on the fly there's absolutely no editing there's absolutely no cutting every one of my videos from the beginning I think I tried to cut and edit it a couple times perhaps early on but it don't work for me I'm a realist I found reality I present reality And I accept all evidence to counter the reality that I present. I don't talk about evidence as being formulas and distances that you can't comprehend. I'm talking about tangible, physical, observable reality. Plain and simple. I don't need a formula that you can't even write on five chalkboards. I really don't I can look out there and I can notice that by the overlay of clouds in the sky and the Sun's position behind them clouds be able to see the sunspot right there that that Sun is in the clouds or the entire embankment of clouds would be lit up evenly same holds true with the moon the moon is even more obvious I'm I have hours and hours of Sun and moon footage folks I've observed the Sun and the moon from their first appearance to their exit throughout the entire day I've caught the moon coming into the sky on my camera find any other person out there who has got into it that far to where they actually know where the moon is coming into view and what time I'm serious in my investigation I'm not just some kind of quack I want to know where I live it's mandatory that you know where you live and you know your mortal existence you ain't here to pay this government for it yet you continually buy a driver license from them you continually pay them to work so that you can have a job and feed your family so that you can buy back the same power that you already created really you don't see the madness in this 
system that they created for you. You're not a system. You're part of the cycle. You're a cycle of life, but they have you indoctrinated to believe you're a system. You're part of the system. It don't matter what system it is. What system are you going to call it? The medical system, the political system, the indoctrination education system, the prison system, the transportation system, the... I can go on with system after system and I can cram system up your ass. But until you observe the sun and the moon in their cycle and the earth in its cycle, you are only system. Because they've crammed it into you so deep, that's all you really understand. And I'm a crazy old man. I really am. See, don't listen to me. Just prove what I say to be false. I'm going to tell you. This is a quick story, but back when I was 24 years old, me and my woman were waiting for a bus, and there was an elderly gentleman sitting in the middle of the bus parking the bus waiting area. He sat in the middle of the seat. And me and my woman were there that I've been married to for 30 plus years. And I said to him, I said, excuse me, sir, can we sit here and wait for the bus? Cause we got about a 15 minute wait for the bus or so. And he just scooted over and didn't say a word. And so I sat down, my now wife sat down and we're sitting in total silence for about 12 minutes waiting for this bus it's going to be here in 15 and this older gent over here that had scooted over and let me sit there he just spouted out and he said uh, if you think things are crazy now young man wait till money no longer exchanges hands and I looked at this character and I thought about the $600 I had in my pocket, cash, and that I was working six tens, and there was prospect all over the place. And I thought to myself, you crazy old coot. Money's never gonna stop exchanging hands. And now as time rolled on, that was created by some big bang way back before time existed according to the heliocentric model time rolls on and I don't have any cash on me I really don't yes I have a net worth I'm up there to the millions in my net but that's not important that's just what I could exchange my life for. I don't give it away. I give knowledge away and information. I try to teach people to think for themselves rather than let them be indoctrinated to believe what they're told. I believed what I was told for a long time. That ain't the case, folks. What they tell you is horseshit. Let them prove it. Come on, you say the Earth is spinning at 1,040 miles an hour, this equator. You say you got space junk that costs $10,000 a pound to send there. You're sending gorilla suits. You're spending, really? My money that I am forced to pay tribute to you you're sending a gorilla suit to the International Space Station that has absolutely no documentation of its existence no videos of this master feat the most marvelous feat of 
the history of mankind being accomplished out there in the limitless universe and your 100, 240,000 or 240 miles away, you're traveling at 17,500 miles an hour around the earth and you put this together up there and you have not one video you have destroyed the telemetry data to get to the moon hey conspiracy cougar get under me I need to take a piss right now cause it's raining on your parade and I'm bringing that rain upon you because you fucked with me I'm just giving a dose of reality. You can go and make your rhetoric. But when your viewers come to me, they're going to say, Hey, whoa, this man's absolutely correct. He said, We are the civilians of this realm. We've created every power producing facility that's out there. Every one of them, yes, we have. We've designed them with our minds. We've funneled our tax dollars, our tax dollars that are forced upon us, yes, we funded, we designed, we constructed, we man, every, every power producing facility out there. It does not matter if it's electrical, or this fossil lie fuel. Yes, fossil lie. There's no such thing as fossil fuel, folks. They have to make you think that there is a limited supply of that shit that just keeps filling up. You can drain a well and wait a year and that well's re-inhabited by oil. The oil is part of the lubricant and breathing system of the earth. The oceans are part of the breathing system of the earth. The tides are created by the earth sucking the water in at the pole, the North Pole. The water drains into there. I'm not sure how it spews out, but I'm telling you. I haven't had a lot of time to research it anymore, but I was getting a lot of knowledge on how the currents worked. But now my job is demanding me to think about these conveyors and shit, so I'm not really, but I'm telling you. The earth is a living organism. You're just part of the earth. You better take care of the earth. The earth takes care of you. The sun provides the growth and the light that's demanded for the growth. These morons that run this realm tell you to avoid the sun. That's not the case. Accept the sun for what it is. The sun is your God to be all honest with you. Without the sun, your existence would not be. So how could not the sun not be your God? I'm, um, you tell me. I gaze at the sun. I worship the sun. Am I bad? Do you not understand and comprehend that your mortal existence is free created by the sun that put you here but these entities that are ruling want to tell you this conspiracy cooler who wants to tell you that on this thing my digger here are you that fucked up I was forever. I believed this. This was indoctrinated into me. This is 
my life. This is your life. That thing. Investigate it. Come to your own reality. And that's horseshit. That's all there is to it, folks. I'm not going to sit here and try to belittle anybody for believing and accepting that. I'm just telling you the facts. And the fact is, you cannot prove that. So don't come onto my channel. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not going to quit fucking uh, eliminating your comments, but I'm going to quit commenting to you. Because you're a bunch of idiots. If you're on my channel here and you're watching what I have to say, it's because that I have rhyme and reason. It's not because I'm an idiot. You're going, what is he saying? How, what direction is he leading the people? No, I don't want to be a leader, folks. Nobody needs a leader. Anarchy is the only way to create a substantial free thinking, free living environment. Because you ain't gonna let him beat on you and he ain't gonna let you beat on him. But I don't need this gangster of a police state. Hey, how many states do we have? And all them states are controlling the cities, counties, cities. Your sheriffs are not what they are used to be. And you're damned to think that. Every one of these people out here are just trying to, most, uh, I don't know how to say this. Most people out here are just trying to live out their mortal experience and they've been indoctrinated by the indoctrination system to function in a society that has been created for them. If that makes any sense. We're not so much as social beings folks yes we depend and we rely on others but we have become dependent and that's a fallacy you have to be self-sufficient they call it independent but if you look at the word independent Independent. You figure it out. I'm self-sufficient. Don't know about you. Are you independent? You're independent of this government? That you're making me pay $500 a week to live out my mortal experience here? Come on, conspiracy cougar. Get on this fucking bandwagon. Beat up on me some more. Show what a fucking... Jackass fucking fool I am, boy. I don't see your fucking idiots over here much. Or is the fucking reality striking? I don't know. Don't care. I'm not deviating from reality, boy. I'm presenting it the way it is. You got no measurable curvature. You got no measurable motion. You got no fucking spinning ball boy because the fact is the absolute essential fact is that if you have a ball such as this you have curvature a sphere has curvature everywhere and it must be measurable you stupid son of a bitch. I cannot carry on with you much longer because you have done nothing but made 10 minute fucking laugh at mockery fucking videos, dude. 
You got no science, you got no experiments, you got nothing that substantiates this thing right here. Nothing. If you did, you'll go out there and you would measure the curvature. Let me explain this to you one more time. You go out here to Myrtle Beach, USA. Right here. And you grab 20 or 30 of your boys. And at high tide, you stake where the tide line is that divides the land from the water. So there's no mistake. You have the water level. And you stake that. 20 people on a 6, a 10, go every half mile. You could do that. You could go fucking however far you want it at high tide and stake it. And I guarantee you by my physical reality of un my comprehension of what goes on with the pressures above and the land below is the whole point of the pressure and all the shit that goes on and is created. You are going to find that the water level, level, is a fact. It's not a level, it's not a water curve of 8 inches per mile squared. According to the Pythagorean theorem of geometry and spheres, for this thing to be in existence of a spinning ball with a circumference of 24,901 miles, dude. Yeah, I comprehend the fact that that fucking 8 inches per mile squared only works from here to here. But you ain't big enough to measure from here to here. So it works perfectly fine. For the amount of space that you have to measure. So don't come at me with that uh, irro uh, revocable fucking formula. No. I'm telling you that's a simple formula. And you can go one quarter of the way before it, there is an alteration. And we're at the 45th. We're halfway. So the distance that you go in a quarter you're going to be moving from here to here you ain't moving from here to here you're going to be moving your whole thing you're not going to go a quarter so it's going to stand your eight inches per mile squared is going to be a standing formula for the curvature of the earth to be a spinning ball with a circumference of 24,901 mile, boy. I know that was a lot to say in a brief amount of time, but I tried to make it as simple as I could so that a kindergarten could understand it. Why are they got a globe on a kindergarten's desk? Let me ask you that, conspiracy guru. Why is a globe on a kindergarten teacher's desk? Why are they trying to explain gravity by swinging a bucket of water around when that has absolutely nothing to do with reality? Just washing away any inclination of the mind that what this might be is horseshit. I don't know. I'm just a realist looking for the reality of my existence. And you call me fucking some kind of flat earther? No. I'm the originator of the earth not being flat. The earth being topographically fucking inclined and declined. But on the level. The people at work call me the flatlander. But there ain't a one of them that's brought evidence of the spinning ball. And I tell them that every day. I say, well, where's your fucking measurements, boy? You want to come in here every day and call me Flatlander? Every day. But you come in here with nothing. Except rhetoric from what they told you. Get the fuck out of here. That's how I deal with people. 
And then it's business as usual, of course. We carry on throughout the day and conduct our businesses. Affiliates would make sure everything goes smoothly, but no, man, they want to start out and say, call me Flatlander and all this crazy shit that they think I'm crazy, but yet there's been not one person in my existence upon this realm yet to provide me with substantial evidence that supports <laughs> this nonsense. So I get onto these rabbling modes, man, and I, I really got nothing to say because there's nothing more to really say until you can prove this. Earth is a flat, motionless plane. It's not on me to prove Earth is flat and motionless, you retard. I'm serious. It's on you to prove that that, that, that is a reality. I don't know how Earth was started. I don't know what made it flat and motionless. I really don't. But I can observe and I can critically think. And through my observation and critical think, thought, I see the mountains and I see the valleys and I see the lakes that are suspended in the mountains due to being trapped in the pressure above and not being able to seep into the water. See, I can comprehend all this stuff and then you go down lower and you got lower lakes and then you got lower lakes and then you got the ocean which is a sea level which is where the level of all water is due to its mass and its weight, it all settles right there at that point, at sea level. They want to call it mean sea level and say that it's fucking 14 foot right here above sea level and it's 86 feet here above sea level. Are you kidding me? Look. That's 14 foot, so on that scale, you're talking, you'd be touching it, but it would be just off it. And up here, you're 86. This is junk, dudes. I don't have to get into the labeling. I don't have to get into anything. You have to get into the reality of the existence that's around you. You have to find reality for yourself. And the only way you're going to do that is to investigate it for yourself. That's what I had to do. I'm not a dumb flat earther, folks. I really am not. I'm a highly intelligent fucking mortal living out my experience here. I build shit from fucking skyscrapers to submarines. I and my welds are tested and passed. I'm a, I am absolute, fully in tune to what I'm doing. Nothing gets by me without total investigation. They don't put you to be ahead of a project that's all mechanical. Now, I'm not the superintendent, but I am the lead on the entire floor. I have the say of, hey, this ain't right. You can't do it this way. It ain't gonna work. That ain't because I'm stupid. And I don't put up with people calling me stupid. Are you fucking morons coming in here trying to fucking say, oh, try to think? No. Get the fuck off my channel, dude. I'm serious. If I'm so stupid and I can't think, what are you doing here even listening to what I have to say? That's the beginning of the question. If I'm so stupid, I got nothing to say. What the fuck are you doing here listening to me in the first place? <sighs> Anyway, folks, it's like fucking midnight here, and I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go to work. It's 
the way it is. It's the way I roll. I'm a respectable civilian within this reality we all live. I just present it in the reality way and not in a projected way. What you observe is what you get. It's not what they tell you that what it is. It's what you observe. So you need to gather your own information and your own data to be able to observe reality. Alright, I'm going to go out and smoke and I'm going to bed. Y'all have a good evening. Thanks for watching. I just... That. There's one thing I don't like is ball suckers coming on my channel trying to fucking tell me what an idiot I am. Why don't you quit doing it and just start making your own videos, presenting your spinning ball of clay, mud. Get your mud because you gotta have mud, that'll have your water. Get you a mud clod and form it into a ball and put it on a drill and create the angular speed of the earth on a mud ball boy conspiracy cougar I know it's long winded but I'm done and you can't do it and it won't happen the fucking mud ball will disintegrate the water will eject out of the middle shortly before the mud ball is disintegrates. That's what your common sense, that's what your reason, that's what physics tells you. That's what's going to happen. If you have a mud ball, you don't even have to have water on it. You just get your mud ball and you put it on a drill press. You let it sit there. I don't give a shit how long you let that mud ball fucking cure and become hard. And you start spinning that son of a bitch. The water's gonna fly out of it or it's gonna disintegrate before you hit the rim velocity that Earth is supposed to have. And that's a fact. You can't deny it. I mean, you can deny it, but won't do you no good when you do the actual research and mechanical investigation upon it. Reality speaks for itself. I'm not here defending reality, you fucking idiots. I'm presenting it. Because I'm tired of funding this illegitimate government and every other government around the plane. They extort my money so they can kill more of you with less effort and you don't get it anyway i'm done for the night i'm gonna smoke a cigarette and crash get up and try this again tomorrow and i'll talk to make another video tomorrow thanks jugal thanks youtube for all you do i know i've only had 750 subscribers for five years I know I talk a bunch of shit that don't make sense to anybody anyway, so no one wants to hear me, that's why. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in, thanks for being part of my life, I guess. I Get your own life, that's what you gotta do. Quit leading the life they want you to lead and go lead your own life. I guess that's what I'm saying. I know my videos are long. I can't help it. Once I get going, I just start rambling on. But if you made it this far, it's because you ain't doing nothing either. <laughs> no. I just want to say thanks. We'll see you later, guys.